page two of unit conversion. So we're going to convert some measurements. We're going to use the dominoes to uh, um, cancel uh, units. So first we're going to do 2.36 meters squared. Meters squared is the same as meters times meter. I want to change this to centimeters squared, which is centimeters times centimeter. I need to use a domino, which is going to cancel out meters and replace it with centimeters, right? I'm going to cancel out a meter and I'm going to replace it with centimeter. What is the ratio between centimeters and meter? Well, centimeters is smaller than meters. There's 100 centimeters in one meter. So I'm going to multiply it times this domino with 100 centimeters on top, one meter on the bottom. The meters cancel out. Now, I have one more meter that I need to cancel out, so I'm going to use one more identical domino, 100 centimeters divided by a meter. Now I'm going to cancel out again the other meter, and now I'm left with centimeters squared on top. Perfect. So now I just need to multiply everything on top, 2.36 times 100 times 100. That would be 2, 3, 6, 0, 0. You can do that on the calculator if you want to. And the units are centimeters squared. Next one, 5,400 millimeters squared to centimeters squared. 5,400 millimeters squared, so that would be millimeters times millimeters. I'm going to change it to centimeters squared, so what's the domino I'm going to use? I'm going to have millimeters on the bottom. I'm going to have centimeters on top. How many millimeters in a centimeter? It's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, right? You can check out your ruler. And I'm going to do that twice because I have 2 millimeters to cancel out. So I'm left with centimeters squared on the top, which is what I want. And 5,400 divided by 10 divided by 10 would be 54 centimeters squared, okay? And the next one is 0 0.06 meters squared, so it would be meters times meters. I'm going to multiply that times uh, domino, which has meters on the bottom, so it can cancel out the meters that's there. I'm going to replace it with millimeters. Wait, I don't know the conversion between meters and millimeters. Uh, oh, well, maybe I do. Right, so if there's if it's millimeters, there must be a thousand millimeters in a in a in a meter. Okay, so let's do it that way first, and later I'll tell you a different way you can do it. So since it's millimeters, there's a thousand millimeters in one meter, and I do that twice. Okay, because milla means one one thousandths. Okay, and so I have point zero six times. A thousand times a thousand, that would be, if you put it in the, the um, calculator, you would find out that 60,000 millimeters squared. Let me cancel out that one too. Okay? The other way you can do it, which I was talking about, is like instead of multi multiplying by 1,000 millimeters over a meter, you could multiply by 100 centimeters divided by one meter, right? It cancels out the meters, and then you can multiply by one centimeter in the bottom with 10 millimeters on top, like that, okay? So you could do two dominoes instead of one domino. Okay, next one. So we have 35,000 meters squared, meters times meters, and we are going to multiply a domino, which is going to have meters on the bottom to cancel it out. And we want to change the kilometers. So we put kilometers on top. How many meters in a kilometer? Well, there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. We're going to multiply twice because there's meters twice. So we cancel these two meters. We cancel these two. And the multiplication we're going to do is 35,000 divided by 1,000, which would give me 35, divided by another 1,000, that would give me 0 0.035 kilometers squared. Number two, convert these measurements to the stated unit. Give your answer in the form a times 10 to the k, where a is between 1 and 10, and k is a 
integer. This is just saying put it in scientific notation. Okay, so we're going to change 5 meters cubed, 5 meters cubed, which is meters times meters times meters, to 7 meters cubed. So we're going to multiply by the same domino three times, which is going to be meters on the bottom, 7 centimeters on the top, 100 centimeters in a meter. We're going to do that three times because we have we have three meters here. We've got to have three dominoes with meters in the bottom. So we're going to cross those out. Now we have five zero 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 centimeters cubed. Now I want to put that in scientific notation. Let's do that here. So I'm going to put five times a hundred times a hundred times a hundred and I'm going to change the mode mode I don't see mode where's mode here it is so then I'm going to change the mode so the output comes out in scientific notation let me go up and input that again 5 times 10 to the 6 is the answer. 5 times 10 to the 6 centimeters cubed. Let's do the next one. 255 meters cubed. 255 meters cubed. So I do I write meters three times to millimeters cubed. So I'm going to change that by doing one meter on the bottom and 1,000 millimeters on top. And I'm going to do that three times millimeters on top, one meter on the bottom. 1,000 millimeters on top, one meter on the bottom. So the answer is going to be 255 millimeters cubed. And now I'm going to put this in the calculator. 255, just to see what it is in scientific notation, times 1,000 times a thousand times a thousand. It's going to be 2.55 times 10 to the 14th. Okay. All right. Three. The side length of a square is 13 centimeters. Find its area in centimeters squared and meters squared. Okay, um, so if I wanted to find the area of this, it's going to be length times width, or 13 centimeters times 13 centimeters. So I'm going to do 13 centimeters times 13 centimeters. That gives me, if I put in the calculator, I'll get 169 centimeters squared, right? Then I want to change 169 centimeters squared to meters squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by two dominoes. The dominoes are going to have centimeters on the bottom and meters on top because we want to cancel the centimeters with the centimeters on the bottom and we want to leave meet, uh, meters. So, and the number here is going to be uh, 100 centimeters and one meter on top. 100 centimeters and one meter on top. So that's going to be 169 divided by 100 divided by 100. 100. So 169 divided by 100 divided by 100. 1.69 times 10 to the negative 2. Okay, and that is meters squared. So the first answer that we were looking for is here, and the second answer is uh, here. Oh, actually, the first answer, do we still want, yeah, we want this in scientific notation. So actually, 169 in scientific notation, you actually write it with 1.69 times 10 squared. You can see in here, if you go 169, the calculator would tell you that. See? Okay. All right. 
The side length of the cube is 0.85 meters. Find the volume of the cube. So if it's 0.85 meters is the side, then you can multiply it three times itself. 0.85 meters times 0.85 meters times 0.85 meters equals 6.14 times 10 to the negative 1. 6.14 times 10 to the negative 1. Oh, I think now we're supposed to start stop doing uh, scientific notation because we finished part 2. So, yeah, so not necessarily scientific notation. So, like, if we wanted to go back and make 1.69 times 10 to the negative 2 into not scientific notation, then, let's see, we'll do mode normal quit let's see what 1.69 times 10 to the negative 2 is in regular notation it's 0 0.0169 okay and uh so we don't need this one in scientific notation here so 0 0.85 times 0 0.85 times 0 0.85 is uh let's go back and do that again now that we don't have it in scientific notation anymore it's 0 0.614 0.614 okay meters cubed then we want to find out what it is in centimeters centimeters cubed so we can multiply by three dominoes each domino is kind of meters on the bottom centimeters on top because we want centimeters and we don't want meters so the proportion that we're looking for is 100 divided by 1, 100 divided by 1, 100 centimeters divided by 1. So it's 0.614 times 100 times 100 times 100, which is 614125. And this unit is now that we've canceled out meters cubed we're left with centimeters cubed which is what we wanted okay okay we're almost done with this page write these measurements in order of size starting from the smallest so we got eight million millimeters squared we got 70 70 thousand five hundred sixty centimeters squared and 0.8 meters squared so let's do this. Let's change them all to the middle unit because that's kind of like a reasonably sized uh, number and see. Um, and then we'll compare um, them. Do you see how the hint here is to convert them all to the same unit? So I'm going to change them all to centimeters cubed. So first of all, 0.8 meters cubed. So I'm going to draw three meters here. I'm going to multiply by three dominoes. Each one is going to have meters on the bottom. So I'm going to cancel out the meters on top with the meters on the bottom. It's just, it's not meters cubed, it's meters squared. So it's, the answer is going to be 0.8 times 100 times 100. So 0.8 times 100 times 100. And the answer is 8,000. 8,000 centimeters squared. So... Oh, so do you see how this is 8,000 instead of 7,560? So it's slightly bigger, isn't it? Um, now let's look at 8 million millimeters squared. 8 million millimeters squared is millimeters times millimeters. So we're going to multiply by two dominoes with millimeters on the bottom. And on the top, we're going to have uh, centimeters because we're changing everything to centimeters so we can compare them. So that would be 1 centimeter and 10 millimeters for each one. And when we multiply these together, it'll be 8 million divided by, divided by 10, divided by 10. And we'll get 8, 80,000, 80,000 centimeters squared. So, in the end, which one is the smallest, which one is the largest? The smallest one is, is this one, 7,560.
right? And the largest one is 80,000. 80,000 is much bigger than 8,000, right? So this is the largest. And then 8, uh, 0.8 meters squared is the same thing as 8,000 centimeters squared. So this is the median. Okay. Write these measurements in order of size, starting from the smallest. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing here. Uh, let's try again to uh, make everything into centimeters cubed. So we'll keep this one the same. And then we'll take 11.2 and change it into centimeters cubed. 11.2 times meters times meters times meters. We're going to multiply times three dominoes. It's going to have meters on the bottom. Three dominoes with meters on the bottom. And the top is going to have centimeters. Because we want to change it to centimeters. And we're going to have 100 centimeters in each meter. Okay, and then when we multiply that, it's going to be 11.2 times 100 times 100 times 100, also known as 100 cubed. And I get 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So 11 million 200,000. 11 million 200,000. Okay, is. Um, centimeters cubed. And uh, the second one um, is millimeters cubed. So it's 11, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. I'm going to multiply this times, let's see, it's millimeters cubed. So we want to get rid of the millimeters cubed by multiplying by three dominoes with millimeters in the denominator. And in the numerator, we're going to have centimeters, because we want to change everything to centimeters. Centimeters. And so how many millimeters in a centimeter? 10 millimeters per centimeter. So as a result, we know that the result is going to be 11, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0. And do you see how... Uh, this, these millimeters cancel with the millimeter, I didn't write it there, but the millimeter cubed original uh, unit. And then the tens cancel out with the last three zeros here. So we're left with 11,020,000 centimeters cubed. Okay, so let's see which one's the biggest and which one's the smallest. So this is 11,200,000. This is 11,020,000. So 11,020,000 is a little bit smaller, but look, 10,900,000. Um, this is this one, by the way. 10,900,000 is the smallest. So this is the smallest. This is the next smallest medium. And this is the largest, 11,200,000. Okay? All right, that's it for number two or page two.